Music playing on the radio, the cell phone ringtone, the sound of music flowing from the cafe. We live with a lot of music every day. This music lifts the depressed mood and energizes it, and on the contrary, it can also calm you down if you're too excited or nervous, and sometimes it makes you forget about the pain. But above all else, they say that the greatest power of music is creating a sense of coexistence. Even if you're actually alone, just listening to music can make you feel like you're with someone. People say that they have much less negative thoughts or actions when they feel like they're with someone rather than when they're alone. Hmm, shall we test that out today by listening to Radio Clock together? Let's kick off today's show with Daybreak's Kokkilman Kokke Jukke, Flower Road.
Would you like a cup of tea? This is Tea Time Monday. Happy season renewal, everyone. It's Pom Kepian. It is April 3rd, 2023, and we have moved our tea time day to Monday. And today is the very first day of our new season. And we have a special guest for our new tea time corner for our new season. Uh, she is someone I really wanted to meet, and I'm so happy she is joining us in the studio. We have voice actor Kristen Cho in the studio. Welcome. Hello. Hello. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for inviting me, and I'm so happy to kick things off. I feel really special. Thank you for being <laughs> here. You yeah. are, I love your outfit. Oh, so springy. You. It's very springy, isn't yeah, it? Perfect. Yeah, perfect. You go, you go so well with these well, flowers. Well, you know, I heard it was like point and radio, so I'm like, okay, I need to, you know, do a little. I don't put much makeup on, but the color is good. The color looks good on Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Um, so I actually saw her video recently on Instagram through Reels, <laughs> and as soon as I saw it, I captured it. I sent it to our writer i was like we should invite her we need to have her for tea time <sighs> and scheduling worked out and she was able to join us for our first episode can you officially introduce yourself to our listeners absolutely hello listeners my name is Kristen cho and uh, i am a english voice actor broadcaster uh english teacher mom you name it i am everything <laughs> Oh my gosh, you have such an elegant voice. Oh, well, thank you so much. Yes. I appreciate that. You know, it's funny because I never knew that hmm? when I was growing up. Nobody told me I had a good voice. Really? You know, I enjoyed singing, but uh -huh. nobody actually ever commented on my voice, which is very, yeah. When you had to do, uh, you know, a public speech or when you had to go in front of the class to mm. do a presentation yeah. nobody said no, what? no they said oh i enjoyed your class but nobody mentioned anything the only the one person who ever commented on my voice was at some electronic store uh -huh. i called oh do you have model 527 of you know the the coffee maker whatever uh -huh. and then all of a sudden he's like oh yeah sure ma'am oh by the way you've got a great voice <laughs> <laughs> on the phone on the phone that was the first and last time ever well, in america oh, while i was living in the states oh, yeah wow mm -hmm. but after you came to korea a lot of people have been complimenting your voice well right? yeah that's a long story yeah maybe yeah. we just maybe we just pay more attention to voice i don't know what is it well you know i mean if we want to get into it i also work for another uh radio station mm -hmm. and uh when I was teaching, uh, this reporter came to the school and did an interview with me. It was kind of like, oh, you know, what do you suggest? You know, where should we go during, you know, summer vacation when it's really hot? Mm -hmm. And so she did an interview and then she took it to the show. At that time, it was called Morning Special. Mm -hmm. And that show still exists. And then the PD was like, who's this voice? <gasps> Oh. So I never contacted anyone or interviewed anyone to get into broadcasting. Oh, right. it just happened. It just happened. So then what happened was, <laughs> I feel bad, but this reporter went on vacation, uh -huh. had to go somewhere, and I was a substitute. Uh -huh. and, and then she never she came never back. Came back. <laughs> and I was there. I took her place. I feel so bad. I mean, yeah. I feel sorry for her, but yeah. 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 I mean, that's how I got started. Wow, mm -hmm. that's so interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, um, well, before that, this is Tea Time Monday, so yes. we got to talk about our tea. Which yes. tea did you go for? So I chose cranberry and pomegranate. And Kristen was so excited when she saw the tea option. She was like, we're really having tea? <gasps> I mean, because, you know, I'm like a tea fanatic. Oh, what's Especially your in the winter, uh -huh. I drink all kinds of tea. Black, mm. green, you know, not so much fruit, uh -huh. but like all the leaves, different leaves, moringa. I mean, I drink it all. What's your favorite? Uh, my favorite. I have so many. Do you just take it regular? Or do you add like honey and no, milk? No, I just, I don't like sweet tea. Oh, mm -hmm. okay, okay. Mm -hmm. 
just straight, just regular. straight up, straight up well, on the rocks. Enjoy <laughs> your cup of <laughs> cranberry you. tea Thank today. You. Oh, so I just want to tell you guys which video I saw that went viral on Instagram that made me fall in love with her voice and want to uh, introduce yeah. her to you guys. And this is the video. Let's see. Play. This stop is Soul Station. Soul Station. This is the last station. The doors are on your left. Tasha <clears throat> Kyo. So professional. The doors. <laughs> the doors are on your left. To connect to line number one and line number four, please proceed to basement level three and follow the transfer passageway. For KTX service, please proceed to the second floor. Thank you. Am I on the subway right now? Thank and you. Look, I Thank liked you. It. I liked it. You can see Ashley B. Oh, Choi you liked it. Oh, you did? oh, that was you. <laughs> yes. That was you. Thank you so much. Wait, how many views does this video Okay, so now? currently we're standing at like 500 and almost 60,000. Oh my god. I gosh. mean, it is non-stop all day for the so last many couple of days. Too. Yeah, the comments are off the charts. I mean, I don't know what happened. I don't know. That's I don't know uh, what happened. I don't know how yeah. algorithm works, yeah. but I'm glad it happened. Um, so many comments are saying, I never even thought this was a human voice. Right. How can a human make this voice? Like, yeah. I love hearing this. I take the subway every day. Um, glad to put a face on the voice. Right, right, right. Oh my gosh. They're saying, 선생님 진짜 너무 좋아요. 하늘이 주신 목소리 너무 좋아요. Uh, yeah, voice from the voice from, from the heavens. My goodness. And you know, another thing is that I also do the... 듣기 평가. 영어 듣기 평가. Which is, which is the English... National English Listening Test. For Sunung? For well, well not Sunung, uh -huh. but the practice ones that you oh. do twice a year. Uh -huh. They do it here. And so it's like, you know, oh, where is the nearest bank? You know, and then I do the conversations with another a uh, male voice actor. Whoa. So a lot of them recognized that voice too. I mean, because everyone yeah. who has yeah. graduated high yeah. school must just recognize. Recently, <gasps> just recently, just uh, actually a couple of days ago, uh -huh. the the test went nationwide. And so all the junior high school, high school kids have to take that test. Oh my gosh. And now we know who's behind the it's voice. Me. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, wait, so yes. what, for example, when mm. you're recording mm -hmm. that for the national exam, yeah. how how long does it usually take? Like It takes about, I would say, maybe three hours. <gasps> yeah, you know, and also there's like a speed. So uh -huh. high school is a little bit more natural, faster, and then it gets kind of slower and then slower. Oh. So we have to, they're constantly monitoring. Oh, something you, you know, oh, can you go a little slower? Oh. Oh, you know, just, and then we go. All the way down to junior high school, uh, grade one mm -hmm. or year one, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then it's like the slowest yeah. version. Yeah, right. Oh right. wow! Yeah, that's so cool. Oh. <laughs> I mean, You're so cute. <laughs> Ash is like, oh, like this is a whole new world. Because <laughs> <laughs> no, I've always been interested in voice acting. Like, oh, really? just I, I'm always fascinated by people with pretty voices. So oh, yeah, and I agree. I listen, Me too. I, you know, I listen to that every day when I'm on the subway and like, yeah, to think that you did that. It's yes. crazy. Yes. Do you have it memorized? Uh, you know, I mean, it's pretty much the same thing, uh -huh. you know, but depending on the stops, there are transfers, right? right? Right. And so you add and then there are some other comments. But recently, the reason why I posted that was I recorded this about 10 years ago. Uh -huh. And then recently they update. They wanted it done all over again. Oh. So that's why I posted it on Instagram. Oh, so you did that 10 years ago too? Yeah. Oh, Oh, my oh, it's God. been going on ah. since that line came about. <gasps> yeah. Can we hear a live version of like maybe one line? Like, okay, that yeah. You we could say, so, for example, like uh, a typical stop is like Kongdok is mm -hmm. a big stop, right? So we say, I would say like, this stop is Kongdok. Kongdok, the doors are on your left. You can transfer to line number five and line number six here. Oh, I love how like pretty your mouth gets when you're when you're speaking. Oh. You naturally kind of like smile okay. and then it like true. it kind of like it comes together. It does. It does. Yeah. You know, when you are actually using your voice mm -hmm. and there are different colors 
like you want it and they want it friendly, uh-huh. then you automatically make it friendly. Like you're, you can't just say this, this, this stop. It just can't do. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. You have to work. use your face. Right. So if, for example, if you, if they want something really friendly, mm-hmm. this stop is, then you got to really exaggerate. This stop yeah, is? this stop is Kung Dog. Kung you know, right? <laughs> the doors are on your right. Good job. <laughs> Put a little rhythm. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. And then what if you do something serious? Then naturally you would just like... Right. So the serious stuff, well, mm-hmm. it's it really depends on the job that you're doing. Mm-hmm. Because say, for example, you've got like a, a technical or, you know, like chemical company, Hongbo, mm-hmm. then you don't want to be like, oh, and so this, you know, petroleum and, you know, the, the chemicals that we use in our factory, you would not speak like that. Right. You would say you would have a little depth mm-hmm. to your voice. You would bring it down. Mm-hmm. And so you would say... Uh, you know, with our high technology, da 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 da. Whoa! Yeah, yeah. So your your voice range goes all over the place. So did you study yeah. this? No. no, no, never. No, isn't that strange? But I've had a lot of practice. Uh huh. And I think it's you know in Korean we have what's called ki. Mm. What is like ki? A natural actually? born talent. That's right. A yeah. natural born sort of talent, right? Yeah. And I think uh, voice actors is not just about a pretty voice, but you have to be versatile. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're going to hear more of some work that she's done in a little bit. Okay. But um, you grew up, you actually grew up in California, right? Right. So I was born in Korea. In fact, I was born in a very cultural town, Chunju. Mm-hmm. That's my hometown. Oh. Yeah. So food. I was born there. Mm-hmm. And then it's like, uh, I was like this country kid mm-hmm. uh, that moved to Los Angeles when I was seven. Mm. So I started first grade in the States and then I went all the way to grad school. Uh-huh. So I was raised there and then I came out to Korea, you know, two years after grad school. What made you come back to Korea? Well, um, just because. Oh. Yeah, you know, I had gone back and forth to Korea uh, at the end of high school, and for about three, four years, my dad was here, mm. and I kind of went, came back and forth, and it was just really nice seeing mm. everyone was Korean. Mm. It was like, whoa, coming from L.A., mm-hmm. you've got all this, like, melting pot, right? Yeah. Different races, and you feel like such a minority, but then you come to Korea and you're the majority. Mm. So that was a really good feeling. Oh, yeah. how was it adjusting to this new Korea? Because you came back after a long time. I'm sure yeah. it wasn't what you were used to or what you remember when you were like seven. Well, of course. I mean, it was exciting. Um, and, you know, it was new, but generally I didn't have a really hard time because I could speak Korean, oh. like conversationally. Right. So it wasn't, it wasn't like, uh, uh, you know, it wasn't that kind of, right, Korean, right. So I was like, oh, you know, and really, you know, kind of cheerful. Oh. So it wasn't so bad. Oh. So I actually really enjoyed it. Oh, and mm. you spoke Korean with your mom at home. I did. Oh, you know, it was all Korean at home. Mm. And then, you know, at university, I took, you know, about a year and a half of Korean lessons. Oh. I learned Chinese characters and stuff. Oh. Like advanced country. Korean. Oh, wow. I yeah. see. Yeah. And then when you came, first came to Korea, did mm. you work, um, like, did you teach English? Okay. So my background, uh, I was an English literature major mm-hmm. in college. I went to UCLA. Mm-hmm. And uh, my master's was in English education. I have my master's in TESOL. Uh So I'm like, okay, let's teach English in Korea. I have the credentials, the background, but I got the first job, which was just like a regular hagwon in Gangnam Uh somewhere. And then after that, um, someone told me, hey, you know, you've got your master's, I mean, in TESOL, why don't you apply for this university job? And that job was at Iwa University. And so I applied. And I got the job. I was a full-time lecturer. So I was a professor there. You were a professor. I was a professor for four years. Four years? Four years. Uh And so at that time, I was 29. Mm -hmm. And then the students were like 20. 
I mean, I was a oh. young teacher. Yeah, you were. So it was very, it wasn't easy, but I, I did, you know, the best that I could. So was it mm. while you were teaching that you got your first gig doing the broadcast That's stuff? right. So at that time, I was always doing part-time mm-hmm. radio. Oh, for wow. fun. You're just busy, busy. Busy, busy. Oh. Yeah. Okay, well, guys, uh, <laughs> we're in the studio with Kristen today, but we are going to take a short break, song break. So please enjoy this song by Code Kunst, Circle featuring Crush. You're joining us on Tea Time Monday with our guest, Kristen Cho. And we wanted to just ask you what kind of work you have done. You you have done the subway. Yeah. Um, you did some radio as well. Oh, yeah. But voiceover, what else have you done? Oh, so many. It's been over 20 years. Oh, wow. So a long time ago, and... You know, they used another, uh, but Asiana Airlines, I did a recording Uh many years ago. And I used to go back home. (gasps) And you would hear your own voice. And I would hear my voice. Was it the safety instruction? Yeah, it was like, you know, thank you for flying Asiana Airlines. I recognize that voice. Please stow your luggage up, you know. And I'd be like, I'm sitting there and I want to stand up and say, That's that's me! That's me, hello, hello. (laughs) <laughs> they should give you some kind of special service. <laughs> and then um, Pororo, uh-huh. when Pororo came out, uh, they did the first, this was like before anybody knew about Pororo. Uh-huh. I was Eddie, 
um, they did the English dubbing. Oh. And my friend did the bororo. So, like, you know, I was like Eddie and did the whole animation series. Wow. You'll hear my voice, I think, in Galleria Department Store. That was, that was the announcement, you know. Thank you for shopping at Galleria. Yeah. So I've done so many things. Wow. And also videos, animation, um, games. Mm-hmm. That's that's also Games. One. Like yes. the game characters? Game characters. Like, yeah, you know, and like fighting scenes. Like, Ugh, you know. <laughs> <Awesome>. <laughs> you know, I, all kinds of things. So you have to know. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, yeah. Oh. And In order to be a success. Anyone... I guess could try to be a voice actor, but mm-hmm. if you want to succeed as a voice actor, you really have to have a, a, a whole range of things that you can do. Right, of course. Yeah. And you work mm-hmm. with Arirang as well, right? Yes, actually, I'm currently doing the Hangul Kiang mm-hmm. dubbing. Um, it's a whole, you know, and then also Tamil, like home explorers. It's oh. about architecture. Ah, yeah. So all dubbing in English. All dubbing right? in English. Yes. I love those kind of documentary dubbings. Really? Is that your favorite ones to do? Oh, I wouldn't know. I'm not sure if it's my favorite, but I really do enjoy talking about culture mm. or history or food, oh. things like that. I mean, she was just here yesterday, too. Yeah, so, yeah I was. She comes here pretty often. I do. I come here every week to I've do it. I've never bumped We've into never crossed her. paths. No. I know, so because, sad. you know, voice actors, the life of a voice actor is very, like, isolated. Ah. Because you just go into the studio, you do your job, mm-hmm. and you can say, oh, goodbye, see you next time, mm-hmm. and then that's it. Right. Yeah. So you watch it as you record, right? So you usually you kind of see it on the corner of your eye, but you have you have to read the script. Ah. But you have to, when you see the script, you have to figure out, okay, what tone am I going to go? Is mm-hmm. it going to be like sophisticated? Is mm. it going to be like friendly? Mm. Or is it going to be like, you know, um, you know, very serious? Oh. Yes. Well, okay. okay. So I want to learn... <laughs> how to do this from you oh really so i think we should try something okay. out okay um i don't know i i want to do like a sophisticated one okay. and also like a playful one All so right. if you were to do a sophisticated one yeah. which one should we try which line um so like uh sophis- okay so i did actually um for louis vuitton i Ooh. did their telephone ars uh-huh. Yeah, and so like uh, when you call them and you want the English version, mm-hmm. it'll probably be my voice. Ooh. So when you think of like a luxury brand, uh-huh. you're thinking of like, you know, it's not se- just sexy, but uh-huh. it's sophisticated. So it's like, thank you for calling Louis Vuitton. Like oh. it's that sort of, right? Right. So try Ashley. It's just like that? Or whatever just- brand that you, or, you know, Arirang, you know, radio. Thank you for calling. Yeah. Is there any tip? Like, how okay. do I start? So, so do, I, do I need to breathe? You know, JYP always says, like, uh-huh. is yeah. it something like that? Like, do I need to put more <laughs> like air into my voice? Well, I would say a little bit because it's kind of coming from here. Mm. It's not coming from here, but it's like, thank you for calling Louis Vuitton. Thank Vita- you. Uh-huh. Thank you for calling Louis. Thank you for calling Arirang. Yes. Okay. okay. How can I do it better? Okay. So, thank. So, what you want to do, you don't just because it's sophisticated doesn't mm-hmm. mean that it's all airy. Uh huh. Uh huh. So you gotta h- control that breath, mm. right? So it's not. Thank you for calling out. You know, right. like, it's not just letting out, but you gotta like control it. So, thank you for calling Arirang, and keep it. Thank you. F- <laughs> Thank you for calling Arirang. Right. Mm. Oh, practice. It takes practice. So do you just, Uh when you are practicing, Mm. do you just sit at home and repeat it over and over again? Not really. Oh, okay. Just, it's It's just just, natural. No, 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 no. It's just going to the jobs Mm -hmm. and just doing it again. I mean, like, I feel like your natural Mm. speaking voice sounds like you're doing voiceovers oh, th- so oh, i feel like this you. is you've practiced so much it's just become like this a is, habit like yeah it's just i don't know this is how i've are. always this is how i always speak you know 
It's strange, isn't it? What did it? you grow up watching or listening I to? Like, did that, did that, I don't know. I did not know I had these superpowers. Did I that did not know. Did that Is there anything that influenced you in any way? I or just, was there someone in your life that had a really nice voice? Well, well I think... I think that one thing, uh, one thing that was to my advantage, mm-hmm. uh, a lot of Korean American, you know, kyopos as mm-hmm. they're called, um, their their dialect and their pronunciation is native, uh-huh. but in order to be like a real Yongo Songu, yeah, you that's very important. And I, my diction and my enunciation, all of that is very... People don't know that I'm Korean. Yeah, yeah. that's and, true. And I think one of the reasons why, one of the reasons why is because I didn't have... I didn't speak Korean with my... I didn't have any Korean friends. Right. So only was it at home, like, Oma Begopa, you know, Papjo, <laughs> you know, things like that. But then when I went out, it was fully, like, white and just fully... Just, yeah. Non Korean. Non Korean. Yeah, because with my yeah. accent, people um, say they can tell I'm yeah, Korean. Yeah. My diction and yeah. some of my prunzi- pronunciation is yeah. not completely like American. Right. So, and then like listening to you, yeah. I can see what they mean. Oh, yeah, yeah. There, there is. So, you know, there are some songus that ha- are, are in a very similar situation as you, mm-hmm. but with practice, you can improve your, you know, diction and enunciation. And all of that, yeah. Mm, Practice makes perfect. It does. It Um, does. What about like a playful one? A playful one. I want to try a playful one. Okay, so like a a a friendly, playful, and sometimes they say like, "Oh, be like a twenty-year-old," you know. uh And so it's not just about making your voice high, Mm -hmm. but it's about kind of putting the rhythm into it. Mm. So I did a CGV uh, recording. Uh-huh. It's like 40X. Okay. You know? Oh. Yeah. So like, you know, um, oh gosh, I, f- I forgot. Uh, the fire exits, you know, are on the right. <laughs> did you sure? say you know? <laughs> I did. You say, the You're fire exits, say, you know. <laughs> I did not say you know. But right. So it's kind of like you keep it up here, but then you don't want to be like, Uba. Yeah. That's the thing. So you have it's to have. It's hard not to go overboard. There's I'm, a fine line. It's like, how much is yeah, enough till right, you start right. going like, yeah. okay, it's a little too much. Yeah. Yeah. Please make sure that you don't pop. You know. So as you can see, I'm smiling. Yeah. Please don't make sure. Please, please make sure you don't kick the seat in front of you. You know, oh. that kind of thing. Please make sure you don't kick the seat in front of you. Yeah, <laughs> but but if it's it but if it's too light, mm. it will the it won't carry through the mic. Oh, so you can't make it too breathy, <gasps> because then it's uh, you know the volume is mm. not enough. So you got to make sure that you have that oomph, mm-hmm. but make it like friendly. Oh, wow. oh it's very. Yeah. <laughs> Look at your face. <laughs> you, poor <laughs> Ashley. She's like, oh. so much to think about before oh, you is. let it out. Yeah. You know, when we're speaking, that's one thing. But when you're reading a script, mm-hmm. that's a very different thing. Yeah. It's not easy to read something on the script. Yeah. With that kind of sophistication mm-hmm. or friendliness or mm-hmm. whatever that they're requiring. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm trying. I'm going to try a little okay. more to. You know, sound like I'm. <laughs> I don't know what the word for it is, but more be more like Kristen. Oh no! For today's no. show, oh, just oh. just no. for our listeners' mm. ears, mm. you know. Mm, no, just to kind of. You've got a very sweet voice, and that you know every every color is different, mm. but you just have to tap into your voice and just polish it mm. that's what you need to do yeah. you just don't have the polishing that's why yeah yeah i want the polish polishing <laughs> daka. you got a daka. <laughs> um okay so you are also on ebs yes. every day yes. teaching english yes for every 20 minutes a yeah day? uh we are on in the morning at 7 40 mm-hmm. for 20 minutes it's called power english uh-huh. it's intermediate english and usually the english programs are between a, a, a like a native speaker and a mm-hmm. korean teacher oh. well our program is we're both native speakers oh. so it's all in english 
Oh, yeah. So what are, can you teach us some phrases that, you know, it's kind of mandatory to know for people who are trying to study English for our listeners? You know, uh, that's a very big question. Mm. I mean, to... It really depends, but one thing one thing that I will mention recently, mm-hmm. last month we did a whole dialogue series on the MBTI personality ah, test. Okay. You know, everybody's interested, like, oh, what's your MBTI? Yeah. Um, so one big expression that is being heard a lot is a people person. A people person. So when you talk about your personality, so what kind of personality do you have? Mm-hmm. So you want to be able to express yourself. Oh, you know, I'm an introvert. I'm an extrovert. But those are very general categories. Mm-hmm. So you kind of like want to tell more details. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, I'm like really, I'm a private person. Mm-hmm. You know, I like my me time. I'm a people pleaser. Mm-hmm. These are sort of some words that you can kind of use to describe yourself. Oh, so is it just you and another native speaker yes. just having conversations? Yeah. I write a book every month. Uh-huh. And so all we have is the book, the dialogue, uh-huh. and the expressions. We have no script and we just go. You write a book every month? Yeah. What do you mean? Like, Oh, I write dialogues and I write expressions. For radio? For the, for the program. For the program. Yeah. Oh. So yeah. for 20 minutes, you guys just have a conversation. It's all, Right. So we have a dialogue. Uh-huh. Right. We have a dialogue, and we listen to the dialogue, and we go through, like, uh, three main expressions uh-huh. and a pattern. Oh. And then we talk about it in detail, and, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. So you're doing so much. Like it, it sounds a lot more than it seems. I mean... Because those those are pre-recorded shows, mm-hmm. so we can go in there and we can knock out like six to eight of them. But still, you're doing voiceovers on the side. Yeah, you're coming to Arida, yeah. you're going to ABS, I'm you're a to busy, other. I'm you're a freelancer, right? Yeah, for sure. So they just I'm contact you yeah. when they have something like right. when they have a gig, and then right, oh. exactly, just like just like Arida or Radio Clock contacted mm-hmm. me, and mm-hmm. I was available, and I'm like, sure. Why not? Do voiceover mm. actors usually get usually get paid like hourly by the time like they're in the studio or is it just for like a gig? It's okay, like so a- it all depends. Oh. Usually educational stuff, mm-hmm. it is paid by the hourly. Oh. So I used to do, when I first started out, that's where you get a lot of practice doing mm-hmm. education. I don't do it hardly oh. ever oh. because it takes too much time. The pay is, and you know, I feel like, you know, I'm kind of, I have seniority. Yes. And yeah. So usually uh, they pay by the the project. Oh. And it depends on what kind. Right. You know, is it a phone ARS? Mm-hmm. Like, or is it a hongbo, you know, uh, advertising for the company? Is it, you know, is it a museum recording? Oh. Yeah. Or like a government. Or thing. is it a government? Yeah. 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 Oh. So it really depends. <gasps> Wow, interesting. Uh-huh. Okay, <laughs> I, I, we're gonna. Ask Are you me. taking notes? Yeah, <laughs> like, mental oh. notes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we'll be right back after another song. This is Honu Jonga's "Koyangi Cat" featuring IU. I'm 
You're now listening to and watching Radio Clock on both Arirang Radio and TV. Radio Clock, time to watch radio. Okay, for example, this okay. radio clock time to watch radio. Yeah. I want to hear your version. Okay, so it depends on like, like, like what kind of show this is, you know, it's, right? Yeah, it's, it's like a fun yeah. sort of like comfortable tea kind of yeah. So radio clock, you know, radio clock time to have fun, and usually the PDs will say. Do various versions. Right. You don't just do one. You say like a long time ago. You know, there's this channel on style. Mm-hmm. Oh yes. Yeah, on, on style. style. So a lot. This was like 15 years ago, but mm-hmm. I did on style. So went to this big recording studio in you know Apujong, and so like all the clients are there, and they make you do like 50 versions. Oh. Yeah. So it's like on style, on style, on style, like. Oh, and then the like in the middle, everything starts sounding it weird. It all <laughs> sounds the same. Like, do it sexy, on style, on style. Do it friendly, on style, on style. <laughs> so, so that's the thing. When you go in the studio, you got to be quick. Oh, when right. they tell you do it that way, mm-hmm. then you got to deliver. Mm. Oh, yeah. got to deliver. You got to deliver. Okay. Okay. Oh well, we have a special 20th year anniversary announcement, and ah. it's perfect because we have our voice actor oh. in the studio. So I thought it'd be fun to take turns reading it. Okay. Okay. I'll go first. Go ahead. Listen up, everyone. Uh-huh. In 2023, to celebrate the 20th anniversary of Arirang Radio, we will personally visit you to hear your stories. What does Arirang Radio mean to you? How did you first fall in love with Arirang Radio? Please share your touching stories with us. You can hear your sincere stories in a special program that will celebrate the 20th anniversary of Arirang Radio. Applications for participation will be accepted until April 16th. Please refer to www.arirang.com for more details. To the selected contestants, we offer the opportunity to participate in the special program that celebrates Arirang Radio's 20th anniversary, and our producing team will visit you in person. We ask for your sincere support, interest, and participation. Wow! <laughs> you sound like an AI! <laughs> like, so good! Wow, everybody's clapping. Wow. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. And then you, just, you just got this too. You didn't even yeah. have time to like review or prepare. Oh. But. So you see, Ashley, when you see something like this, you uh-huh. look at it and you yeah. read, you quickly scan, okay. and you have to figure out, okay, what tone am I going for? Okay. Because it's like celebratory, right? Yes. It's the 20th anniversary, mm-hmm. and we want to hear your stories. So it has to be kind of friendly, but not too, you know? Yeah. Like over the top. Uh-huh. Right. So it's, and you have to also pace yourself. Yeah, yeah, that's also hard too. That's right. So when you say like, you can hear your sincere stories, 
in a special program that would celebrate the 20. So it's like pausing, pacing, pausing. Yeah. That's very important. Hey, this is like 20 years of experience. Over 20. Oh yeah. my gosh. Yeah. It's That's true. So much to learn. So much, but it's never too late. Yeah, it's yeah. fun. Yeah. I, 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 it's, it's fun. It's, it's hard, but it's fun. Oh, everything is hard when you try out for the mm, first time. Mm. For sure. Okay. Okay. I'm learning a lot this episode. Uh, um, was, I was asking her before, since uh, you mentioned that you were a mom also. Yes. I feel like when she uh, yells at her son and punishes her son, yeah. I feel like you'll be like, you can't do that. What's his name? Uh, m- uh, my son's name is Yoon Seo. Yoon Seo? Yeah, Yoon Seo. Yoon Seo. Yeah, like, Yoon Seo. Park Yoon Seo. Yoon Seo. Do you speak, do you Are punish you him like that? Are you crazy? Do you yell no at him like way. that? No way. Ne mo did so I tell you? Oh, yeah. I get really. Are you kidding? No, no. Like, there's another side. Mm-hmm. That's my professional life. At home, I'm like the mom. I'm like a real mom. I told you not to do that, right? You know. That still sounds like a voiceover. <laughs> like, <laughs> that does kind of sound like a voiceover. <laughs> what about if you do it in Korean? Have you done voiceovers in Korean? Oh, no. No, no. no I couldn't. My Korean is not that good enough. Oh. And, you know my that's the thing with language Mm -hmm. so for i know there are people who are listening from other countries you know your korean cannot be perfect Mm. and vice versa your english cannot be perfect Mm. unless you've been raised there and you were educated when you were young Mm. because the tongue yeah it's it it gets stuck Mm -hmm. in certain placements so even with me korean arirang you see like uh, arirang radio to me it sounds very Korean, mm-hmm. but all the taxi ajashis, <laughs> they tell me, oh, <laughs> I'm like, but they I'm like, my no Korean is good. <laughs> How do you know? <laughs> oh, I can tell. Yeah. Really? Same thing. Yeah. What does your son think about your work and your job? Oh, he keeps it a secret. Why? Oh, he doesn't tell anybody. Why not? I know. No, he doesn't tell. I feel like I'd be bragging to all my friends, like, hey, you took the subway. Well, you know, when he was younger, totally embarrassed, but Mm -hmm. now a little bit, just to his close friends. Uh Yeah, but he doesn't tell anyone. Oh. Yeah. Does your your son try to learn English from you or anything? No. No. (laughs) No. (laughs) Never. And then, you know, when I get really angry, I start mm-hmm. speaking in English. Because, uh-huh, you course. know, when you get angry, yeah. you go to your language Mother that's comfortable. Tongue, yeah. Right, right. So, wah, and then when I just get it out, I it's all in English. And he understands. He understands only, like, the angry yeah, like the English, angry, right? Yeah, the angry, angry that's comments. Right, that's right. That's right. <laughs> Do you think he's interested in this field at all? Well, you know, he said he, he was. But the thing is, it's kind of too late because he was educated in Korea. Mm-hmm. And although his pronunciation is good, mm-hmm. not bad, mm-hmm. but I... To be an Yongo Songu would be impossible. Ah, what about, like, a regular Songu in Korea? I, that would be kind of, he's kind of in that sort of like, it's not 100%. Mm. Yeah. You know, the Korean songus, that's a very competitive market. Yeah. You know, I mean, I just got lucky mm. and I was one of the few that started. Mm-hmm. But the songu field, the Korean songus, oh, it's so competitive. Oh. It's almost impossible yeah, these days. I can only imagine. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Well, for um, maybe like kyopos or, um, you know, people who speak English that want to do voiceover, that want to be a voiceover actor, do you have any advice for them? Yeah. Um, You know, I I, I think that the idea of being a voice actor sounds like really fun and a bit glamorous, but, Mm -hmm. you know, it takes a lot of hard work to get recognition, Mm. right? I mean, you can have a nice voice but if the other the studio or the client doesn't like what they're hearing Mm -hmm. then you know what's the point so uh you know and these days i find even as a kyopo Mm -hmm. and my diction is pretty you know like native um oh the clients you know a lot of them speak english Uh. you know a lot of them have studied in the states they got 
they are very picky. Oh. So if you have, you know, uh, there's a little something that's like missing, a miss with your pronunciation, they'll pick it up. Oh. And if they don't like it, they don't like it. Mm. And so they're like, oh, we want another sangu. <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> wow, yeah. so competitive. It's very competitive. Now. So I mean, like yeah. all you know, all jobs and all fields, mm, you sure. just gotta work really hard. Yeah, and that's right. And you, that's right. You gotta make a name for yourself, and mm. that takes time. Mm. I mean, like you, you didn't just come here, land in Korea, and that's just landed this spot. I mean, it took a process. Same thing. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I'm glad uh, more voiceover actors are getting recognition. I think with the help of social media, yeah. people have been enjoying that kind of content a lot more too. So For sure, I have been seeing a lot of voiceover videos on YouTube yeah. and like on Instagram and. Yeah. Yeah, I just w- it's, wish the best for you and thank you. That I hope just hope you'll be happy and healthy. For a yeah, long time. I really enjoy. I mean, I'm really blessed. Uh, I really do enjoy what I like. Mm-hmm. I mean, what I do. Mm-hmm. So I really feel I like count my blessings every day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you you are awesome at what you do so oh thank you so yeah, much just keep it up i mean it was so nice to meet you today and i'm so sad that we have to say goodbye but i know but what a nice meeting huh yeah hopefully yeah. we can have you back in yeah the hopefully future our as well. paths will cross yes and maybe you can kind of join us enjoy me somewhere else yeah, who knows and now every time yeah. i'm on that subway and i hear your voice gonna be like Kristen. Yeah. I, I know her you. i know her <laughs> um so thank you so much You're for welcome. joining us for our first day of our new season and we're gonna say goodbye with sam oaks new day featuring ijina and we'll see you guys next time thank you thank you so much goodbye goodbye <laughs> one two three let's get it hey. listen ain't no telling what'll happen today you gotta find your rhythm in this bustling place. Your mind could be a jungle thinking of some kind of trouble, but remember all your blessings, count them up in that face. Friend, I need you to know when you hustle and flow, you got a feeling in your soul, there's a better way. Hey, get on up. Any weather and time, any storm of your mind, we can come to find that I'm grateful to I'm